We are going to look at home management. Like I told you in our previous class, the home management is like every other managerial course. We are just narrowing down to the home. Like you have managerial um, courses in normal business affairs. The home is our business affair in home management. So welcome on board. Have you watched the first episode? Go and watch that. This is our second episode on home management because a lot of our students ask us to include this in the channel. So we've come up with home management as a course and we are going to take three objectives for today's class. The major topic is decision making. So we are going to look at the meaning of decision making, importance of decision making in the whole, remember, then steps in decision making. It can equally apply to your business if you want to apply it to your business. But the home is our major objective for this class. So welcome to the class. Thank you for being part of our class. Are you new on this channel? Please subscribe. Are you a returning subscriber? Thank you for being here. Now let's look at our first objective, which is decision making. Every day of our life, we are faced with one decision or the other. And so in our homes, we are faced with decision to make. How do we handle this decision? And what do we come up after analyzing our decision? Now, decision making has to do with choices, identifying different choices, then gathering information, assessing this different or alternative um, resolution. So one, it has to do with identifying different choices. Then we gather decision on these choices we have gathered. Then after gathering uh, information on the alternative that we have, let's say we have, it must have alternative. That's to say it's more than one choice that we have to make at this point. When we have to identify the different choices that are on the table, then secondly, you gather information based on these choices you have on ground. Then after that, assess these alternatives. Assess them. Then come to resolution. That is decision making. There are alternative choices to choose from. Identify these choices. Gather information about these choices you have. After gathering information about these choices, um, then assess them after assessing these alternatives based on the choices we have then prefer resolution to each of these choices and think of the one you are going to go with you have three choices on ground you analyze them let's take a meal you have three modes in your mind to cook you analyze them based on the resources on hand based on the nutritional value and based on the calorie count it's going to give and assess them and see the one that will be more profitable to um, the family. So now we can say that it can be said as a process of choosing among alternative. Process of choosing among alternative. So know that there are alternative choices. We have a number of them, more than one. That's why there is alternative. Two and both. And then you bring in these three or four or five alternatives you have. Gather information about these alternatives. Process this information. Come to a conclusion and resolve which you are going with. That is the meaning of decision making. What are the importance of making such decisions? Importance of decision making. One. It helps to minimize mistakes. When you put in the three, gather information about them, analyze them, you will avert mistakes that would have been made if you did not make any of these uh, information gathering, um, thinking about the alternatives, and then resolving which makes you to prevent mistakes. It assists to help identify values. Which is more valuable out of these three alternatives? Which is more profitable? which is more helpful to the family. That is what happens when you choose among 
alternatives, analyze and resolve. It builds self-esteem. You know when you have achieved your goal, when you've come to get your best, you know how it feels? It heightens your ego. It gives you that self-confidence, high self-esteem that, yes, I've made the right choice out of these alternatives. All right? It assists in taking responsibility for our action. You made the choice. You saw the alternatives. You picked the alternatives. And you choose the one you want to. So you take full responsibility for your action. If it goes well, good. If it goes wrong, it's your business. Because you made the choices. You choose among these alternatives. And you prefer the resolution. You chose it. Then, facing problems and challenges. It helps you to face problems squarely. These are alternatives I have. Okay, let me gather information. You are head along with the problem. After gathering the information, you analyze. Then after analyzing, get your source of information, ask questions, clarify issues, you resolve. Because you've evaluated. And then it helps you to face challenges equally. And then, that is the five. Helps to maximize mistake. Helps to identify values. Build self-esteem. Assist in taking responsibility for your action. Facing problems and challenges. So in your home, as you go over making choices in your life, know that there are things you stand to benefit and there are important to it helps you to prevent mistakes helps you get the most valuable core helps you face problems and challenges squarely gives you this self-satisfaction and self-esteem makes the home run smoothly because you know you are giving them the best option and when you give your family the best option you have the satisfaction that they are going to fare well so this is our second objective. We finish the first, we finish the second. Let's look at steps in decision. Let's look at the step in decision making. Steps in decision making. Sorry, I wrote it tiny here so that all our objectives can be covered here. One, ask clarifying questions. Follow along so that you can see what I wrote. Ask clarifying questions. Gather information. Evaluate options. Make final decision. Review the results. If you follow me, you won't get confused in these smaller parts. Ask clarifying questions. Gather information. Evaluate options. Make making final decision. Review the results. So what are the steps in uh, decision making? Ask clarifying questions. Questions that will help you to get a broader view of the problem on hand. What? Why? How? Why do we need this? How do I go about this? What is involved in doing this? Those are clarifying questions. When you have asked these clarifying questions in your mind or have written it down, it helps you to know how to can go on the next step. Then after that, remember the explanation we give on decision making that. First, you have to choose within alternatives. So the alternatives help you to ask questions, clarifying questions at that to know what you want. Now, after you have asked clarifying questions, it will help you to know how to gather your information. Where do you have to search for information? If it is product you are buying, I have this alternative, which is cheaper, which is more nutritional, which is more natural. Now, you go and gather information. This has this elements, this has this ingredient, this has this ingredient, you evaluate the ingredients in this um, product and see the one that matches your family, you gather information, then evaluate the options. Now you've gathered information on product A, you've gathered information on product B, and gather information on product C. Now it is left for you to evaluate each of these options to see which one do my family need. So when you know the option your family will go for better, or you have head decisions to make, this is this hospital, this is this hospital, and this is this hospital. What equipment do they have in this? What equipment do they have this? And what do they have in this? Which will give us the optimal result, which will not, which will. So when you have gathered 
those things, evaluating it, see the one that your financial level can meet, then you go for it. Then you make a final decision. This is what we can afford. This is what we can go for. That by the time you make your final decision and endorse an alternative and say alternative C is what I pick out of this three alternative, then you review the results. Okay, this alternative I've taken, these are the results that will come out of it. So you see, it's a practical course in management. Home management is a practical course. It's a course that helps you to navigate your home well. It's a course that helps you to navigate your own life. It is a course that helps you to navigate in your business. The total of your entirety can be helped through this course. That's why we said it's for everybody, both young and old. So decision making, in making decisions, remember that you have alternatives. Remember that you have to gather information based on these alternatives. Remember that you are going to process this information and evaluate them and pick options. Then after picking option, make your final decision. Then the last one, go over it again and see whether what you have chosen is the right thing. That's the three objectives for the class. Decision making, importance of decision making, steps in decision making. That is what we have for the class. We'll take other, sub other topics in our home management that will help you that to to you in our next class. Please follow along, subscribe, share the video. Thank you for being part of our class. Please, you have other column on this channel, on this class online school, sex education, counseling corner, whichever one you want. Please come along. Comment below the comment box if you have question. Um, leave your suggestion below if you want to reach out to us. Please reach out to us below the comment box. We will get it and we will reach you. Thank you for being part of the class. I love you because you are always here. And if you're not here, I'm not going to be here. Thank you very much for being my community. Mm -hmm.